Hi, good people. This is Farm Delight underscore TV. This is your man, Charles Bento, coming to you once again. In today's edition, we are going to talk about the good ideas of farming. The good ideas of farming. Yeah, the best profitable farming ideas. As you can see, Farm Delight underscore TV, our main priority is what? Farming and investment. That's farming and investment. That's Farm Delight underscore TV. That's our main priority, farming and investment. So in today's edition, we are going to talk about the good farming ideas that is the livestock which ones to pick which animals to pick for your farm so today we are going to discuss before we start farm delight underscore tv we take this opportunity to thank our faithful subscribers and our viewers for always supporting us all that you are saying is may god bless you for always supporting us and watching our videos and sharing to others for them to come and join the family for them also to come and learn from us so farm delight underscore tv today too we are here to talk about the good farming ideas that's the best practices the profitable ones first and foremost we will talk about what the best that's the layers let's say if you want to start your farm you can start with what the layers because within the next four and a half months to six months they are going to give you x that you are going to pick them each day every day you are going to pick eggs and sell them so as you can see it means you are going to get to a cash flow every day because every day you are going to pick up eggs and sell them every day which means every day money is coming to your hand and as a woman we need cash every day we need cash every day so if you want to start your farm best the layers are one of the best profitable ones that you have to think about and also pigri those who are in love with them is also another one that is good to start with yes today we're not going to talk too much about the pigri because we do a full video about that one and as you can see, another one is also what? Goat. Goat. Because the goat, they go with what? The sheep. That's why we always mention goat. Goat. Because goat and sheep, they look the same. So today, Farm Delight underscore TV, we pick these three animals that we are going to talk about. First, the layers. Example, let's say if you have about, let's use 300 layers. If you have 300 layers, they're going to give you X every day. Let's say 300 X or if all of them are not going to lay. If you start with 300 bears, they're going to give you, let's say 250 or 280 X every day. Every day that you're going to sell them we decided to go with the lowest so as this 300 is giving you x every day and you are selling them six months to eight months then you can go for let's say another 800 or 500 layers and then you bring them to your farm so as they are hot laying the eggs 
then you can use the money that you are getting, the proceeds that you are getting to buy the feed, to feed the new ones that you have brought to your hot farm. So as you can see, it means you are not going to spend your nine to five hour job, your salary or your wages to buy any feed for them. Because the 300 that you bought earlier on are the one going to feed all of them. So four and a half months, when they also start dropping, when you say dropping means when they also start laying eggs one by one each day, and then the next two and uh, uh, one and a half months, making it what six months, that's where you're going to realize the full capacity of the eggs that you'll be picking. Then you can see that that's where your profit is going to start. Your profit margin is going to what, increase. So, as you can see, going for layers is another profitable thing to do. It's another profitable thing to do. So, Farm Delight underscore TV, today we advise everyone who wants to enter into the farming to go for what? The layers. To go for the layers. That's what, to help you to realize your heart, your cash flow, your cash flow. And also, from the light underscore TV, as we all say, farming is what? Business. Farming is business. Because as the profit is coming, then you need to look for ways and where to invest the profit so that you cannot expand your farm for you to expand your farm so farm delight underscore tv today's edition we've picked three animals layers pigry and then other sheep or goat so as you can see and now let's come and talk about what the goat yeah, the goats are also one of the profitable animals that you can think of adding them into your farm. That is when you have them, their feeding is what? Cost effective. You're not going to spend too much on their feeding. If you're able to take good care of their heart, their pen, everything, their feeding is cost effective. You're not going to buy feed for them. And also, if you are fortunate, and they start giving you birth two, two or three. Some can give birth three. So let's say a year or 11 months, they can give birth three times. So if you are fortunate, by the mathematics that we did the other day, and they are going to give you, one goat is going to give you, let's say, two, 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 which is six. So the six, let's take the mortality from me. Let's take, let's say, two mortality, and then you have four. So let's say a year, you have four. But the first one, if you are fortunate and they are hot female, they will also give you birth. That's why we said a year, you're going to get about seven. Yeah. If you take the mortality from it, one good female can give you about two or seven minimum. So as you can see, if you have seven and you are selling them in a year, or let's say if you have 10 of them, it means you are going to have about 70. 7 times 10, 70. And then the 70, if you, if you keep 10, and then you sell 60, or if you keep 20 and you sell 50, that's good, good business. That's good business to do. So Farm Delight underscore TV, today too, we bring to you all this animals to think about to think about and also the piggy that we said as you know the piggy they can give you birth 7 to 12 or 15 so th those who are in love with it that's also another one that you can think of getting them so farm delight underscore tv today we are discussing about what the three best profitable livestock to pick. The three profitable livestock to pick and start running them in your farm. And you have picked 
layers a goat or a sheep as well as a pigeon those who are in love with them so as you can see if you're able to get this to start your farm within a year that's where you need to start expanding then you need to start expanding within a year because by then you have got the number that you need and then through that you start expanding you start expanding so farm delight underscore tv we advise those who are able or those who are in love with animals to pick this tray and think about and think about and also like we said that farm delight underscore tv our main priority is what farming and then investment farming and investment so you can do the farming and then if the money is coming and then you start what spending the money buying impulse buying buying it buying 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 without thinking about your investment so farm delight underscore tv our main priority is what farming and then investment so today if you are fortunate and you come across this our channel and you are in love with farming we we'll present these three animals for you and as the profits start coming all that you need to do is think about what ways of investing that's why you need to get involved in what the stock market the stock market and the stock market we have already presented some of the stocks to you don't be an expert don't go and pick individual stocks no don't go and pick individual stocks all that you need to do is go for the ETFs ETFs like what Vanguard S&P 500 Vanguard S&P 500 yes S&P 500 you are not going to lose in the long run you are going to be the winner so think of getting into S&P 500 yes so the profit is coming and you are joining the stock market and you keep on so as you can see you don't need to keep all your eggs in what one basket you don't need to keep all your eggs in one basket spread them so that when you fall down some can remain for you to survive to survive so farm delight underscore tv today we have brought to you this exciting video this exciting video as we have promised always we will do our best to give it to you what we think is best for all of us to be for all of us to be so that we enjoy the life we came to this where purpose we hot to enjoy life not to suffering and for us to get better life now everything comes to what cash we need money we need cash flow we need cash flow and for us to get the cash flow we need to work and work wisely smartly so farm delight underscore tv today we have come to you with another exciting video and we take this opportunity once again to thank our lovely subscribers and then the viewers we thank you for all the suggestions and the questions that you keep on asking us so today all that we are saying is get involved get these three animals and also pick up your your stock the stock market your etf we have repeated once again vanguard s p 500 that's what you need to pick and also if today happens to be the first time that you have come across our channel we can advise you to like our videos share and subscribe for us so that others may come across our channel and also learn a lot from what we are teaching here farm delight underscore tv this is your man charles bento may god bless you bye